Hello, good day, good day. Okay, so um, let's wait a couple of minutes. It's already, well, eight. So um, let's see. Okay. So welcome, guys. Welcome. So today, guys, it's Wednesday, right? Wednesday. So tomorrow is Thursday, which means that we are, you know, almost done. So next week, guys, will be the last week, okay? We are going to finish this module, okay, next week. So let me, you know, before to start with the class tonight, let me share you. So guys, we have this one, right? We are in unit number four already. So let's see. We have already seen these topics, right? So guys, yesterday we made this exercise, right? This one. So I hope everybody have finished this, one, right? Then guys, we have this other part. This is a listening, right guys? This is a listening. Well, unfortunately, I cannot play it here because it doesn't let me, right? Soon when I'm sharing the screen. So guys, this is a listening. It's very easy, right? You only have to play it and it's going to give you the answer, right? So I think Brian, so you will see this, right? He is, and like this one. Guys, Um. well, you can finish this exercise at home, right? And if you have any question, you cannot do it. You can, you know, text me on WhatsApp and tell me what don't you understand, and I will help you. Okay, so do not worry. So, well, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome for the ones that I join you. Welcome. So, well, let's see, guys. Before to start with the class, let's see. We were discussing about describing people, right? So let's see, let me share you this, you know, part. So guys, help me please with this one. She tall. What do you think is the current one? She has tall or she's tall? What is the current one? Yes? She is. Which one? This. Perfect. She is tall. Is. Very nice. Perfect. Now let's see, oh, sorry. This one. She long hair she has or she is she, she has, has long hair she has she has long hair very nice perfect now let's see this one she is a scarf what do you think wear or wearing yes what do you think guys she's wear a scarf or she's wearing a scarf she is scarf. wearing a scarf. A scarf is bufanda, right? She's so, wearing. Wearing, perfect. Yes, she's wearing. Why is wearing in and nowhere? Is simple because, because it just be exactly because I'm using verb to be. So this verb must be in participle, right? Participle means ing, right? I-N-G, okay? So very nice. Now let's see, what about this one? He blue eyes, is or has? He has, has. He has. He has, very nice, perfect. Okay, and the last one, guys, he a bird. Has or is? Where? Bird is Barbara, right? Barbara. Has. So, has or is? Oh, yes, has. Okay, has. Very nice. Okay, guys. So, with this one, we have finished, you know, um, the part, well, this part that is describing people. So, welcome for the ones that are joining. So, it's already eight. For. Perfect. So guys, um, what I mentioned before is that we are, you know, almost finished this, well, finishing this module, okay? So only tomorrow and next week, okay, we are going to finish this model, okay? Because next week we are going to be in unit number five, which means the last unit, right? Unit number five and the last exam, okay? So next week 
you know, is the last one. So, guys, if you can download the exercise for unit number four, that will be really nice, okay? So this week we have to finish. But do not worry, if you can, I mean, yesterday we made one, right? So there is, you know, two left. There is one listening that you can do it by your own. And the last, you know, quiz that we have, but we are going to see what is this quiz about, okay? So let me share you the screen. So guys, let's see, I have here this conversation for you, okay? Please, sorry, that one, not this one. So guys, let's see. I have this one. We have Emily and Randy, right? So let's see. Hey, Randy, how's it going? I'm good, Emily, and you? I'm good. I heard, heard, okay, you have a new friend. Yes, his name is John. Can you tell me what your new friend look like? He's around 25 years old. He has a white complexion and he's very tall, around six feet. Wow, that is tall. Yeah, and he is muscular and has short black hair. Oh, I hope I could meet him. Sure, I will introduce him to you soon. That's good, see you, see you Emily. Okay guys. First of all, let me ask you, do you understand this conversation? Is there any word that you don't understand or phrase? Okay, just let me know, okay? Something that you don't understand, guys, here? Or do you understand everything? Entendemos todo, chicos. Hoy algo que no entendemos aquí. Yes? No? Sure. It's clear? Uh, what is completion? Um, and complexion. Complexion is um, like in Spanish, it's como uh, el complejo, right? Complexion. That one. And that means, like, guys, um, como la complexion, right? Uh, bueno, en pocas palabras, bueno, esto lo ocupamos también para el test, ok? Test, me refiero a, al tipo de la piel, ok? El test. Es como el tipo de test. Como white complexion. Es como white skin, ¿ok? Como el tipo de la piel. Es como el test, ¿ok? Test, test de la piel. ¿Ok? Test. Teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah. También podría ser así como de complexión fuerte o de complexión delgada, no sé. Yeah, Me you imagino. can mention like that as well, yeah. But complexion, aunque complexion uh, se utiliza más que todo para la piel, ¿sí? Porque si, dijim, si decimos, uh, okay. por ejemplo, muscular, podemos decir body, ok, body, como cuerpo, right? Body. O his feet, ok, o he has a fit body, ok. Completion, más que todo es para la piel, pero también podemos mencionarlo para eso. But very nice, guys. Ok. Um, another question, ¿Algo, otra palabra que no entendamos aquí. Something. Ya. Yeah. No? Everything is clear, guys? Okay, very nice. So, guys, we are going to practice this conversation. Okay, let me take a photo. You can also, you know, take one or a description if you want. And let me share you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can get it. So now, guys, let me divide you in breakout rooms, okay? Let's practice this one, okay? This conversation. What I want you for you guys, first of all, is something Uh, lo que quiero primero, chicos, que hagan es que tratemos de pronunciar cada palabra correcta, ¿okay? Tratemos de pronunciarla correctamente, ¿okay? Una y otra vez, si no nos sale, la volvemos a repetir y repetir, ¿ok? So let me, guys, create breakout rooms so we can start practice. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah, perfect. So, guys, you can accept the invitation now. Let's see. Now, you can accept the invitation, okay, guys? And let's practice, okay? I have sent you the picture to the WhatsApp group so you can take it, okay? So let's practice, okay? Let's practice the conversation. Try to speak, I mean, fluently, pronouncing each word correctly, okay? So if you can accept the invitation, please, guys.
Okay, very nice. Okay, let's see. One, two. Okay. Hello, Edwin. Let me assign you to a group, okay? Let's see. Hello, Lorena. Hello. Uh, we are working in pairs. However, I'm going to close the breakout rooms now. Okay, so do not worry. Hello. Hi. So I'm going to close the breakout rooms because we have already finished this part. Okay. So let's see. We're going to wait for the rest. So welcome, guys. Welcome. So let's see, we were discussing this, you know, conversation that was about describing people, right, guys? It's about describing people. Well, now, guys, let's move on, because we don't have only just one conversation. So now, guys, we are going, you know, to move it, because you understand this, right, guys, how to describe people. Now, guys, we are going to move to another topic tonight, okay? So now we are going to move for the one that is called which one, okay? So for this conversation, we have which one is she, okay? So for this new conversation, we have Liz and Raul, okay? So we have here, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? 
No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near to the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Okay, guys, so we have this conversation. First of all, let me ask you guys, do you understand this question? This, sorry, this conversation, do you understand it? Yes, no? Yeah. Okay, so guys, let's see. I want you guys to focus in this part. So it's, it's saying, why don't you go to talk to Julia? Julia, which one is she? Okay, which one? Which one? Okay, so which one means like, como quien es ella, right? Or cual es ella, right? And she say, well, is she the woman wearing glasses? No, she's the tall one, okay, the tall one, okay? Tall one in jeans, you see? Like this one, okay, guys? So, well, we have here some verbs and adjectives, right? Describing people, okay? So now let's see. Um, I'm going to choose some of you to help me reading this one so I, I can verify. So let's see, Eduardo. Hello, Eduardo. Hi, teacher. Hi, Eduardo. You're going to be Liz and let's see, Salvador. You're going to be Raul, okay? So let's start, guys. Let's see. I'm Liz. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she's good make it. She's going a concert with Alec. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, perfect. Very nice, guys. Very nice. So I really like it. So guys, before to continue, do you have any question about this conversation? Yes, no? Something that you don't understand? Teacher. Yeah. Eh, cuando dice which one is she, es similar a who is she. Yeah, who is she or, yeah. Or for example, which one is she or quien es your right? Como quien, right? Like this one. But do not worry. Now, guys, we are going to see how to use which one, a which one. Now, let's see, guys. We have modifiers, okay? Modifiers, this is the topic that we are going to see tonight, okay? Modifiers with participles and prepositions. Teacher, what are participles? Participles, guys, are the verbs with ing, okay? So, the verb con ing, for example, wearing, talking, uh, playing, okay? Swimming, like this one, right? With ing. And prepositions. Prepositions, you know what are prepositions, right? Because in previous classes, we were mentioned, right? For example, on, in, under, between, remember? Those are prepositions. So guys, modifiers. So let's see. It says that useful, you know, to give extra information and join two different sentences into one. We can use participles or gerunds, right, or preposition. So guys, los modifiers se utilizan para agregar información extra, right? So guys, let's see, tenemos esta. Who's Jack? King is Jack. He's the man, el hombre, wearing the black sweater. Vistiendo el suéter negro, right? Which one is Jack? ¿Cuál es Jack? Okay, en este, ¿cuál es Jack? He's the one talking to Lisa. Es el que está hablando con Lisa, okay? Es el que, okay? El que. You see, he's the one, oh, he's the one, reemplaza aquí, guys, a the man. He's the one, he's the man, okay? Es lo mismo aquí, you see? Which one is Jack? 
is the man talking to Lisa, okay? Who is sorry? Sorry, let's see. So, who's Lisa? She's the woman, okay, with long red hair. So guys, let's see first of all here, vemos aquí los participles. Ya dijimos que los participles son los gerundios. O sea, los verbos en ing, right? Los que llevan ing. So, guys, in order to describe people, para describir personas, right? And add extra information, y agregar esa información, <laughs> utilizamos los participles, okay? So, for example, he's the man wearing a black sweater. Podemos decir, he is wearing a black sweater. Oh, he's the man wearing a black sweater, okay? Talking. Y prepositions, guys. Cuando ocupamos preposition, for example, in this one, she's the woman with long red hair. With preposition, you see? Which one is Dorothy? ¿Cuál es Dorothy? She's the short one. Ella es la pequeña, right? Aquí, one, no se reemplaza como she, right? She's the woman, okay, she's the short one, she's the short woman, okay? Y la preposición, in, jeans, okay? Who are the Johnsons? They are the people next to the door. Which ones are the Johnsons? ¿Cuáles son los Johnsons? They are the ones on the coach. Guys, before to continue, I want you to focus in this, okay? Quiero que nos concentremos en este cuadro. Quiero primero que lo leamos individualmente, quiero que lo miren y tratemos de entender, okay? A, a qué me está haciendo referencia todo esto, okay? Let's try to read, okay? Let's try to read by your own. I'm going to give you one minute, okay? Un minuto para que lo analicen, okay? Analicen el cuadro y de qué se trata, okay? So let's see. Let's try to analyze, please. Teacher, y, eh, yes. Which one? Eh, cuando hay bastantes personas y te queremos identificar a una. Exactly. O a alguna. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Or especially, yeah. For example, there are three people, right? And we say, which one, right? Quien es, right? Como quien es, o cual es, right? Like this one. When uh, there are people. Diferente a who is, verdad? Porque exactly. who is. Okay. Who is como quien es, right? And uh -huh. which one es como cuál es, right? Identificar es? quién es, algo así. Exactly, exactly, yeah. Como identificar quién es, right? More specific, más específico. Y cuando utilizamos el which one, si se dan cuenta, utilizamos the one, right? The one, right? Now let's see, guys. If you analyze it, that's very nice, okay? Now, guys, do not worry. Let me explain you more in detail. But first of all, guys, let me explain you this one, okay? Antes de continuar, les voy a explicar un poco. Yo sé que muchos ya saben, pero para un refresh of mind, right? Los articles, right? So we have two different articles. We have a or and, right? And we have the, okay? So a and and dice que se usa al hablar sobre algo por primera vez o sobre algo que no es específico. For example, she went to a hospital, okay? She went to a hospital. I go to a university, right? Now this one, then. Se usa al hablar sobre algo específico, okay? Específico, okay? O algo que ya se mencionó en una conversación. Por ejemplo, she went to the hospital, right? Like this one. Aquí dice, uno en particular que le... El interlocutor conoce, sorry, que la persona conoce, right? So, guys, the, in few words, guys, lo vamos a utilizar para cuando estemos hablando de algo en específico, okay? So, por eso es que utilizábamos en which one, the one, okay? Es algo en específico, right? 
Now let's see, guys. We are we are in this part, okay? So modifiers, okay? Modifiers are words that change or limit the meaning of other words. So, for example, we have the woman, okay? The woman, the man, the one, the ones in plural, right? The people, the funny one. You see, like this one are examples, right, of modifiers. So let's see, we have modifiers first with participles. Participles means verbs in ing, right? So we have this example, whose role is the man wearing a green t-shirt, you see? This one, is the man wearing a green t-shirt? Which one is Raul? Is the one talking to Liz, okay? Which one? Again, hay dos personas. Hay dos personas. Por eso estoy preguntando cuál, right? ¿Cuál es? Is the one, es el que está hablando, right? Is the one. Now let's see. We have this example. Who is Kim? Kim, she's the woman, okay? Playing, ING, playing the guitar, okay? Who's Tom? He's the one singing, okay, singing. Now we have this one, modifier with preposition, okay? Prepositions, guys. You say show a relationship in a space or time or a logical relationship between two or more people, places, or things. So guys, estas son las preposiciones, right? Nosotros ya conocemos las más básicas que es in, on, next to, okay, beside, across, okay. Hay alrededor de 150 preposiciones en inglés, right? Pero estas son las más comunes, right? So do not worry if you don't know all of them, right? Now, guys, tenemos ahora este ejemplo, pero ahora es con prepositions. So, who's Liz? She's the woman with long straight hair with preposition who's mad is the man in blue jeans okay who's keen she's the one on the coach who are pam and susan they are the ones plural right ones behind sure. the coach Okay, you see? Perdón, eh, una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, no me quedó claro cuando explicó sobre cuándo utilizar eh, she's the, the one or the ones. Yeah, do not worry. I'm, I'm going to explain you. These ones are just example, right? So the one guys, for example, we have first participles, participles right? So who's Raul? He's the one or the man wearing a green t-shirt, right? We have these examples, right? Who's Tom? We can say he's the one singing. Él es el que canta. He's the one, porque aquí es un grupo de personas, right? So estoy preguntando en general, who is Tom? ¿Quién es Tom? He's the one, él es el que, right? Está cantando. En el grupo de personas, who is Tom? O por ejemplo, let's imagine that he, she is um, Susan, right? Who is Susan? She's the one with uh pink sweater you see he's the one but don't worry i'm going to explain you this one so okay we are in prepositions right guys prepositions you know like this one, right like this example now here is where i have this one, right so let me make it you know bigger so guys we are going to rewrite these sentences tenemos el primero it says ken is the handsome man punto He's wearing jeans, okay? Ken is the handsome man wearing jeans. ¿Qué fue lo que hicimos aquí, chicos? ¿Qué fue lo que hicimos? We eliminate yes. the subject. We eliminate the subject and the verb to be, you see? So guys, tenemos la sentence. Ken is the handsome man, he's wearing jeans. So guys, vamos a ocupar los modifiers and parties for para omitir, eh, para hacer una oración más corta, ¿okay? para no redondear en lo mismo, ¿okay? para no repetir las mismas palabras. Son, ok, 
¿Quién es el handsome man? He is. Vamos a eliminar el he is. Y solo vamos a dejar el wearing. Okay? So, ¿Quién es el handsome man? Wearing jeans. Okay? So, la oración está perfecta. Y no estoy redundeando volviendo a decir he is. Right? So, like this. Ahora, guys, tenemos esto. Karen is the beautiful woman. She's drinking or chat. De acuerdo a este ejemplo, chicos, ¿cómo nos quedaría la oración? Karen, Karen is the beautiful woman drinking or chata. Drinking or chata. Very nice. Or chata. Perfect. Now, guys, <coughs> let me move on to this one. Aquí tengo esto. Dice, Karen is the one. She is with red shoes. She's on the couch. So, guys, we have the one. Ella es la que está, right? So, chicos, tenemos que the one lo vamos a utilizar cuando estamos... Hay un grupo de personas y quiero saber quién es en específico. Por ejemplo... Si estoy preguntando quién es, por ejemplo, que él se llame, uh, digamos, Steven. ¿Quién es Steven? Who is Steven? Aquí ya no sería she is, sería he is y luego le agregamos the one. Okay? Él es el que está en el sillón, right? Aquí que un preposition on. Okay? Now, guys, let's see. Um, well, en este, chicos, tenemos quiénes son Pam y Susan, ¿ok? Si estoy preguntando por dos personas en un grupo de personas, chicos, vamos a decir, ah, oh, Pam y Susan, o podemos decir, o oh, they are the ones, ¿ok? The ones. So, déjenme, quiero ver si puedo hacerle una regla como suelo hacérsela, so, chicos. Para hacer eso, por ejemplo, si tenemos esta pregunta, who's, uh, la dice Karen, ¿Quién es Karen? Y okay, tenemos esta pregunta. Who's Karen? Let me make it here. So you can... Okay, who's Karen? Imaginemos que Karen... Uh, hay un grupo de personas, hay cinco personas, y Karen está sentada en la silla. So, ¿cómo diríamos, chicos? Karen, ¿ok? Is the one on... The chair, ¿ok? En la silla, ¿ok? So, si vemos aquí, chicos, ¿cómo sería la respuesta? Sería first subject, ¿ok? Plus, verb to be, plus, the one o the ones, right? Dependiendo si es plural o singular. Luego, chicos, agregamos preposition, ¿ok? La preposición, que puede ser in, on, at, right? Y por último, el comp. Comp, ya no me cabe aquí. So, guys, tenemos... Let's see, let's imagine another example. Let's see, take it from here. Imaginemos Kevin. Yo les pregunto, who is Kevin? ¿Cómo responderían, chicos? Yes? Who is Kevin? Imaginemos que él es Kevin. Who is Kevin? He's the one... Exactly. He's the one. Okay. Subject, so verb to be. He's the one. Sería. Next two. Next two. Podemos decir next two. Next, next to Maria. Next to. Uh, next ¿Cómo se llama ella? Rose. 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 Right. Rose. Ok, so like this one, you see, she's the one, cuando es un grupo de personas, right? Now, imaginemos, chicos, vaya, imaginemos que yo les dijera, eh, Roberto está en el sofá, y yo veo que hay dos personas, right, en el sofá. La pregunta que yo haría, porque son dos personas y no sé cuál es, guys, yo diría, which one? Which one is Roberto? Okay. ¿Quién es Roberto? Which one? Y yo diría, Roberto is the one uh, 
let's see, bueno, los dos tienen, se parecen, right? So he's the one um, smiling, okay, sonriendo. The shirt, the shirt white. Oh, yeah. He's the one with, recordemos, preposition, with, with white shirt. Okay? Like this. ¿Estamos entendiendo, chicos, hasta ahorita? Yes, no. Más o menos, poquito, más confundidos, no? Yes? La verdad es bastante claro. <coughs> okay, very nice, guys. Yeah. Perfect, okay. So, ahora, chicos, sorry, movámonos. Aquí estamos, right? Estamos en esta parte, okay? So, <coughs> decíamos, chicos, teníamos, first of all, teníamos esta oración, right? Teníamos Karen, it's a beautiful woman, she's drinking or chat, okay? Si se dan cuenta, aquí estoy agregando información extra, right? Pero es, estoy redundeando porque ya dije Karen y estoy volviendo a decir she is, right? Es como que Karen is, she is, estoy como redundeando, right? Así que para hacerlo menos redundante, solo voy a quitar el she is, lo elimino para que quede, right? Karen is a beautiful woman drinking or chat, you see? Like this one. Y así queda, chicos. Ahora, vamos a ver este, chicos. Este ya es un poco más largo. Dice, tenemos tres oraciones. Karen is the one. Okay. She's with red shoes. She's on the couch. Okay. Ahora, chicos, para hacerla menos corta, ¿cómo creen que lo haría? Primero tenemos Karen is the one. Karen es la que... With, with, with the red shoes. With, with, exactly. with, with red shoes. shoes. With on red shoes. Uh -huh. On the couch. On the couch. Very nice. You see, guys? So, eliminamos el she is, right? Porque podemos decir, imagínense que hay una, una oración que diga que sea así. Karen is the one. Karen is with red shoes. Karen is with... Okay? So, lo que hacemos aquí, chicos, es que quitamos el sujeto y el verbo to be y agregamos ya sea una preposición o seguimos con el ing, right? A Paris. Okay? Now, guys, I need your help here, okay? Tengo estas oraciones aquí. Estas, chicos, let's see. We are going first. Vamos a hacerlas primero en grupo, okay? Vamos a trabajar. Le voy a mandar esta foto al grupo de WhatsApp so you can take it. Vamos a trabajar en grupo y vamos a tratar de descifrarlas, ¿ok? Vamos a tratar de hacer las cortes, ¿ok? So let me recreate the groups again. I guess. Let's see. Ok, so. Let's see. Yeah, we are in trios. So guys, you can accept the invitation and let's work, ¿ok? Trabajemos en esto. Let's try to solve it, ¿ok? Tratemos de resolverlo, ¿ok? So please add the photo is already, right? On the WhatsApp group. Tratemos de resolver la 1, 2 y 3, right? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, who is there? Hi, then. Yeah. Uh, Tell me, please. No, no te sale la invitación, Aide. No. Mm, déjame. Ok, voy a moverte a un grupo y luego a ver si te puedo mover al, al original tuyo. Ok, let's see. Ok. Hi,
<clears throat> okay, welcome back, welcome. Okay, perfect, very nice. Very nice guys. So well, I hope we have you know, finished this part. So let's see, I'm going to ask some of you to tell me. Let's see, uh, Jenny, hello, Jenny. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. So, hi, Jenny. Jenny, tell me, how is the sentence for you? Tell me. Hello, Karen is the woman drinking soda. Perfect. Karen is the woman drinking soda. Thank you, Jenny. Very nice. Now let's see. I'm going to choose uh, Maricela. Hello, Maricela. <clears throat> Maricela? Hello. Hello. Hi, hello, Maricela. Uh, hello. Maricela, can you tell me? What is, you know, the correct answer here? Yes? Maricela, are you here? Yes? <clears throat> Or anyone else that can help Maricela in this one, guys? Seth is the one, me, if I can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Seth is the one uh, in a black jacket mm -hmm. next to the window. Very nice. Yes. In this case, we eliminated, you know, the pronoun, right? And the verb to be, because there are like two extra information, right? And we join all these sentences, right? Very nice. Thank you, Anna. Now let's see. Um, hello, Claudia. Hello. Hi, Claudia. Can you help me with this one, please? Seria la two. Yeah, the Arnold and Peter. <laughs> ah, no, <le> Peter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Arnold and Peter are the good looking ones mm -hmm. browsing the net. Very nice. So we only deleted, you know, that they are, right? So perfect, guys. You see? We have this one. So, guys, do we have any question about this? Yes, no? <coughs> Teacher. Yeah. In the number one, yes. uh, we can use Karen is the one drinking soda. <coughs> yeah, like this one. Karen is the one drinking soda. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. <coughs> You're welcome. Sorry, guys. I, I have covered now. I don't know why. So <clears throat> guys, I have something extra for you. So you can have, you know, a better idea about when to use the one, right? So let's see, <clears throat> sorry. So guys, I have here one e ones, right? So let's see, <clears throat> one is a pronombre que utiliza para sustituir un nombre contable en singular, okay? One. Evitando la repetición innecesaria. Por ejemplo, guys, tenemos este ejemplo. I have bought these two lipstick. <coughs> okay. He comprado estos dos pintalabios, okay? lipsticks. I like both. <coughs> but the purple one is gorgeous. Me gustan ambos. Pero el morado es precioso. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so, aquí chicos. Water, water, teacher, water. Yeah, so give me a second, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ah, 
Okay, guys, sorry. I apologize for this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, chicos, so tenemos esto, okay? So, tenemos, I like both, but the purple one is gorgeous, okay? Me gustan ambos, o me gustan los dos, pero el morado es precioso. Aquí, chicos, the purple one. Aquí estoy reemplazando one, estoy utilizando el lugar de list, ¿ok? Porque puedo decir, me gustan ambos, pero the purple lipstick is gorgeous, ¿ok? En lugar de decir lipstick here, puse one, ¿ok? So estoy reemplazando pintar labio, ¿ok? Estoy reemplazando esta palabra por esto, omitiendo, right, La información innecesaria, right? So me gustan los dos, pero... El morado es precioso, ¿ok? O el, pin, el pintalabio morado es precioso, ¿ok? Do we got it here? ¿Estamos entendiendo más o menos aquí? ¿Yes? Si analizamos, yes, chicos, okay. ya yes, estamos reemplazando las palabras, ¿right? Por ejemplo, cuando digo the woman, por ejemplo, she's the woman wearing a purple dress. She's the one wearing a purple dress, you see? Reemplazamos las palabras por the one, right? Ahora, chicos, en este caso dice, en cambio utilizaremos ones, okay, ones, cuando sustituyamos los nombres, pero contables, okay, porque es plural. One, chicos, es, this one, este, chicos, one, es para singular, okay? Y ones, plural, okay? So, guys, tenemos este ejemplo. Whose are these socks? ¿De quién son estos calcetines? The big ones are mine. Los grandes son los míos. Okay? The big ones. Okay? ones. O puedo decir, the big socks are mine. Que significa lo mismo, right? The big socks are mine or the big ones are mine. Okay? Solo estoy reemplazando la palabra por esto para no ser repetitivo, right? You see? The big ones. Ahora, chicos, tenemos, ¿cómo se utiliza one y ones? Okay. So, tenemos, which one, ¿cuál? Which ones, ¿cuáles? Okay. So, tenemos este ejemplo. Which one do you want? ¿Cuál prefieres? Okay. Y tenemos apple. Which ones do you want? Okay. ¿Cuáles? Which ones? So, ¿cuáles manzanas, right? So, for example, guys. Imaginemos, vemos esta imagen, tenemos manzanas rojas y verdes, right? So, porque tenemos do, dos tipos diferentes. Yo les pregunto, which one do you want? ¿Cuál prefieren? Which one? ¿El cuál? ¿Ok? Yo no estoy diciendo, ¿cuál manzana? Which apple do you want? Which one do you want? You see? Reemplazamos la palabra apple porque ya sabemos que son manzanas, right? Por one. Okay, solo con ver la imagen sabemos que son manzanas. Okay. Aquí, which ones do you want? Aquí decimos which ones porque si miran la imagen hay bastantes, right? Bastantes apples. So, guys, do we understand so far? ¿Estamos entendiendo? Yes? No? Yes. 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 Very yes. nice, guys. Excellent. That's very nice. Ahora, chicos, esto es extra information, right? So, do not worry. So, guys, tenemos este, this or that. Ustedes ya conocen el this y el that, right? Pero ahora lo vamos a utilizar con el one, que significa S o S. <coughs> so, veamos la imagen, chicos. La imagen, vemos dos ositos, right? Teddy bear. Teddy bear es como le llamamos a esto, right? Ositos de pelo, right? Teddy bear. So, podemos decir, en lugar de decir teddy bear, podemos decir this one. Si tenemos a este, ¿vale? lo tenemos cerca. This one is blue. Okay? Este es azul. O oh, this teddy bear is blue. And that one, que está lejos, is red. Okay? You see? Y ahora, cuando utilizar this y those, que son en plural, right? Vamos a utilizar ones, okay? Porque es plural. So, <coughs> these ones are blue. <coughs> es lo mismo que decir these teddy bears are blue. These ones. And those are red. You see? So, tenemos the one y the ones. Imaginemos, chicos. 
Digamos, wow, there are two dresses. Hay dos vestidos. The one in the left is purple. And the one in the right is blue sky. You see? <coughs> like this one. You see? Tenemos esto. Now, guys, before you know leaving, let's see. We have this exercise on the platform. Right, guys? So, de acuerdo a lo que hemos estado viendo, chicos. Tenemos esta oración. Clark is the tall guy. Punto. He's wearing a bottom-down shirt and cargo pants. ¿Cuál creen que es la respuesta correcta, chicos, aquí? De acuerdo al ejercicio que ya hicimos anteriormente. Yes? Second. Number one. Number one. Exactly. ¿Por qué? Eliminábamos he is, right? Eliminamos la extra información. Very nice. Ahora este, chicos. Tenemos Adam and Lowe's are the good looking couple. They are talking to Tom. ¿Cuál sería, chicos? Number one. Number one. ¿Por qué no es esta? Porque si se dan cuenta, aquí dice is, right? Le cambian a la oración. So, está mal. Ahora aquí, chicos. Line is the young girl. She's in the street t-shirt and blue jeans. ¿Cuál, chicos? A or B. One or two. Number one. Exactly. Now let's see. Jessica is the attractive woman. She's sitting to the left of Antonio. What is it? Yes. Number one. Number one. Number one. And the last one. AJ is the serious looking boy. Punto. He's listening to his new salsa CD. Which one? Though? Which one is the correct one? ¿Cuál es la correcta? Which one is the curl? Number, number one. one. Okay, number one. Let's see. Okay, perfect. We got it, guys. You see? That's easy, right? So, guys, uh, do we have any questions so far about this one? Yes, no. Tenemos una pregunta acerca de esto. Yes, no. No. Something that is not understandable. Okay. So that's very nice, because guys, now we have a quiz, okay? <clears throat> so let's see. First of all, let me help you with the first. So tenemos, which one is Pedro, okay? So, aquí en la imagen me está señalando que él es Pedro, right? Which one is, is Pedro? Y tenemos estas opciones. What do you think is the correct one? She's the one playing the guitar. He's the one playing the guitar. He's the man standing, or he's the guy in a yellow skirt. What do you think? He's the yes. one playing the guitar. He's the one B. playing the guitar. A. Very nice. Perfect. Z. Now, guys, it's your turn, okay? So, the demás, chicos, están bastante fácil, okay? Déjenme compartirles el link aquí en el chat of Zoom and also in the chat of WhatsApp, right? So, you can get it. So, now, guys, let's start doing it, okay? And once you finish, please send me the score to the WhatsApp group, okay? So let's see. You have already the link here, and let me send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can get it. Now, guys, let's finish this exercise, please. Let's do it, okay? It's very easy, okay? It's really, but really easy, guys. Lo único que tienen que hacer is look at the picture. Tienen que ver la imagen a quien están señalando, okay? En este caso es este, okay? And this one is ella, okay? This he, okay, this one, okay. So <clears throat> let's just look at the picture and try to answer, okay. So before finishing the class, right, we have eight, nine, like five minutes to finish. Okay, tenemos cinco minutos para terminarlo, so keep doing, okay. And if you have any question, let me know.
Okay, I have from Ember. Perfect idea. Very nice. I have you your scores. Very nice, guys. So it means that you are getting it. Perfect. Very nice. So, guys, well, with tonight, we finish, you know, this unit, right? So, well, do not worry. Tomorrow we are going, you know, um, also to see some, you know, review about this one and opening unit number five, even though it's for the next week, we can, you know, start doing it, right? Guys, um, remember, tomorrow is the last day for you to finish the platform unit number four, okay? Unit number four must to be finished tomorrow, okay? Nido cuatro debe estar terminada el día de mañana, okay, chicos? Tomorrow must to be finished at 12. Porque el viernes, chicos, revisan, okay? Revisan que ya hayan terminado. So, guys, yesterday we made this exercise. Right? Ayer hicimos este ejercicio and everything was fine. Guys, there is a listening. Hay un listening aquí, chicos, también. Que solo tienen que reproducirlo y ahí mismo están tendrán la respuesta, ¿ok? Pero si en dado caso, chicos, ustedes tienen alguna duda o no uh, saben, igual pueden escribirme al WhatsApp, ¿ok? So I can help you. Y, guys, tonight we finish this last one, right? Hoy terminamos este último, right? Que era esto, right? So there is no excuses for you to finish this unit, right? So let's see. The See, let me check the WhatsApp group. So did everybody finish the exercise, guys? Yeah, I can see it. So very nice, guys. I really like your scores. So it means sure. that we are getting, yeah. Eh, ayer eh, me enviaron un WhatsApp, pero decía que la, la parte 5 también para mañana, pero no um, estoy seguro. No, 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 no. Um, no, because we are in, in, in the fourth week. So, no, no worry. Eh, estamos en la semana tres. Solo para mañana es la number four, okay? Mañana solo tienen que terminar la number four because we haven't seen unit number five. No hemos visto la unidad cinco aún. Así que do not worry. La unidad cinco es para la otra semana, okay, chicos? Pero la cuatro sí ya debe estar terminada, okay? Para mañana, okay? So, no excuses. So, okay. guys. Thank you, Eduardo. So, well, guys. It was, you know, nice to see you tonight and I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So, okay. Guys, good night and take care, okay? Good night. See you. Go to bed, guys. <laughs> yeah, go to bed. See you. See you. Take care, bye. Bye, see ya.